Hello everyone. Today in this class we are going to discuss about um, average value and RMS value of a different waveforms, especially sinusoidal waveform. So in the previous class as a part of circuit theory we discussed about the fundamental terminology in single phase AC circuits. Oh, what is magnitude, what is the waveform, what is frequency, what is time period, what is phase and what is phase difference. So these are the terminologies we discussed in the last class. right? So here in this class we are going to discuss about uh, this average and RMS values. So as the name uh, here uh, as the name itself indicates average value so it is calculated as similar as in general terminology we can use the average means uh, sum of the terms by number of the terms sum of the total uh, terms by uh, or uh, sum of the items divided by number of the items is nothing but a average value when you are talking about average value of any waveform so how can you calculate uh, average value so that is the point suppose if i take a waveform a sinusoidal waveform in this way if i take any sinusoidal waveform so if we take an average value means so at each and every point so i have to calculate the magnitude each and every point i need to calculate the magnitude and i have to sum all those magnitudes suppose if it is a current waveform and time period on the x-axis i can take I average is equal to different magnitudes at each time. So that is I1 plus I2 plus I3 and so on upon so whatever the number of segments are there. So if if I take M is the number of segments in the waveform. So I have to add all the magnitudes. I uh, have to add all the magnitudes and uh, uh, divide it by number of segments. It is not possible always to add different possibilities, right? For that purpose, a beautiful technique in mathematics we can use the integrations. So integration is helps to under calculate the area under the curve, have some horizontal strip, we'll take some horizontal strip or vertical strip and we'll take uh, lower limit and upper limit. From that, uh, we'll calculate the area under the curve. In the same way, we can calculate uh, average value of a sinusoidal waveform by using integration. So for that purpose, so if you want to calculate average value of any uh, waveform, so first of all we have to know the time period T. So what is the time period of the waveform? So from that point of view too, so I can have some integration 0 to T and I have to write the waveform, mathematical form of the waveform. So if it is a sinusoidal waveform, I can write so it is a current waveform so i m sin omega t d omega t so it is the uh, summation from 0 to t so from uh, integration from 0 to t it is the sum of the all the terms and upon i have to write the total time period of the waveform so that is time period is t so from I can write I average is equal to is it can be written as 1 by t integral 0 to t so if it is a voltage waveform Vm sin omega t it is a current waveform I Vm sin omega t d omega t so what is I am here it is a maximum value it is this value I am maximum value or peak value so this formula can be used to calculate uh, average value of a any sinusoidal function. Suppose I want to calculate a average value of the sinusoidal function, I can write 1 by time period is si time period is 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi i m sin omega t d omega t. So if you see, average value is the mean value. So numerical numerator is nothing but a addition values. So if you are talking about 0 to 2 pi, so it is 0 and from to 2 pi, 
it is having two cycles one is positive cycle and another one is a negative cycle if add positive and negative cycle the sum is always zero then if you take average value from 0 to 2 pi it is always is equal to 0 it is always equal to 0 for a complete cycle positive and negative cycle the average value of sinusoidal waveform is 0 so for that purpose i will take only half wave value so for that i will take time t as pi and i will take magnitude up to pi value then we can calculate the average value so from this if i calculate so i m by pi so sin omega t is nothing but a cos omega t from 0 to pi from this point uh, i can write it will having some 2 i m by pi okay now the average value of a sinusoidal waveform i can write 2 i m by pi okay so if it is off wave rectifier if it is off wave function i can write uh, average value is 2 i m 2 i m by pi if it is a voltage waveform it will be 2 v m by pi okay uh, let's take about one more uh, waveform so that you can understand better average value calculation of average value question number two find average value for given waveform waveform is like this so it is theta on y axis they mentioned as voltage and it will be vm so if you observe so if you want to calculate v average so we have the formula 1 by t integral 0 to t so this waveform is nothing but a, a, a full bridge rectifier so full output of the full bridge rectifier so from this i can write time period it is pi so we, it is a voltage waveform vm sin theta d theta so if we write 1 by pi integral 0 to pi vm sin theta t theta if you solve it is same as the uh, previous case it is also become 2 vm by by pi okay so the waveform uh, the average value of a uh, half cycle half cycle average value of a sinusoidal function or uh, the average value of a output of the full bridge rectifier also the same that is vm by pi so what is the average value of a half wave rectifier so what is the average value of a half wave rectifier if you see so half wave rectifier will be like this like this 0 to 2 pi this will be pi and it will be vm maximum value if it is a voltage waveform on x axis it will be theta on x axis so for v average so it is half wave rectifier so output of half wave rectifier right so v average can be calculated so 1 by t integral 0 to t vm sin theta d theta now here the time period so 1 by 1 by time period is 2 pi and 0 to 2 pi vm sin theta d theta so from 0 to 2 pi so from 0 to pi vm sin omega t and it can be written as like this 1 by 2 pi so integral 0 to pi vm sin theta d theta plus integral pi to 2 pi vm sin theta d theta so from this i can write so from pi to 2 pi the waveform is nothing but zero so from zero to some pi to 
2 pi it is 0 so this value will becomes 0 so we can only calculate 0 to pi but the time period will be 2 pi so I can write uh, I can calculate from this so 2 will be the extra one so a 2 and 2 cancel so it will be vm by so vm by pi. in this way we can calculate the average value of different waveforms okay and uh, we'll go for rms value okay we'll go for we'll, we can discuss about uh, rms value the next one is rms value so rms value uh, as the name itself indicates rms means root mean square value so normally the current is measured by the amount of work it will do the amount of heat it will produce but mostly it is a effective value it is effective value we can also write an alternating current is defined as the value of steady current which will do the same amount of work in the same time okay the amount of work done by the flow of current to produce the heat is uh, represented as root mean square value so i don't want to go depth in this uh, rms value so in general to remember this so if you remember these points root under root mean value it is nothing but average value that is 1 by t 0 to t suppose what is the waveform it is, it is a uh, voltage waveform vm sin theta d theta and last value it will be a square term so a square term we can square of this waveform is nothing but a root mean square value so we are rms is equal to root mean square value so this is the formula for calculation of rms value so rms value will be a calculated for any waveform it is non central waveform sinusoidal waveform we can calculate any waveform so let's calculate the rms value of a sinusoidal waveform so ov is equal to vm sin theta v rms is equal to square root so 1 by t for sinusoidal waveform time period is 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi vm sin theta whole square d theta okay, because root mean square value so if you see here if you calculate this square root vm square by 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi it will be a sin square theta a sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 d theta and it can be written as vm square by 2 pi and theta by 2 minus sin 2 theta by 2 and from the limit 0 to 2 pi it is a whole under square root so from this i can write uh, vm so it is 2 pi so from this i can write uh, vm by root if you solve this we can get vrms for a sinusoidal waveform is vm by root so it will be like uh, 0 0.707 times maximum value okay so we calculated average value and rms value and two more terminologies are there one is crest factor or it is also known as peak factor crest factor or peak factor it is defined as kp is defined as the ratio between peak factor 
kp is defined as the ratio between peak value or maximum value upon rms value if you calculated the peak value upon rms value that factor is nothing but a crest factor or peak factor and one more term is important uh, term factor it is form factor form factor it is defined as the ratio between rms value to average value is defined as the form factor so if you calculate average value and rms value so from those two values we can also calculate the form factor so from here i already calculated a sinusoidal waveform so i calculated average and rms value for a sinusoidal waveform so rms value of a sinusoidal waveform is vm by root 2 and average value will be 2 vm by pi from this i can calculate form factor as vm and vm cancel it will be 1.11 that is the form factor of a sinusoidal waveform is the form factor of a sinusoidal waveform is 1.11 so because of this uh, form factor 1.11 the uh, voltage levels of uh, sin uh, voltage levels of uh, transmission lines if you see it is 33 kv 66 kv it is uh, morely multiplication of uh, level okay so with this uh, i'll complete uh, today's session in this session we studied about uh, average value rms value peak factor and crest factor uh, peak factor or crest factor and finally we discussed about the form factor so we derive an equations for a sinusoidal waveform average value rms value okay so definitions and uh, some problems we discussed uh, in the next class we will solve some of the problems related to these average value and rms values right uh, i hope everyone got these concepts if you like it uh, hit the like button if you feel it's useful you can share it and subscribe to my channel right thank you have a nice day